Hey Phil, guess what? What, Richard? A child refused to nap. She was found guilty of resisting arrest. <laughs> hey Richard, guess what? What? What's blue and doesn't weigh much? Light blue. <laughs> now that the audience is engaged completely, Phil, what are we talking about today? Culture Club, GSA and BSA, lots and lots of candies. Can I say it? Yep, go ahead, break the fourth wall and say it. All this and more on today's broadcast of the Cat's Eye News. Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com with your story ideas and we'll be sure to feature it on our next broadcast. Be sure to send it to this email and not Mr. Latart for the best chances of seeing your email. See you later, Novi. Hey Novi, this is Luke back again to give you some news about next week's German club meeting. The meeting will be on Wednesday next week in room 245, where they'll be discussing the Grimm Brothers' dark fairy tales as well as officer applications and elections. Hope to see you there, and as always, this is Luke signing off. Hey Novi, FIDM's officer applications are open and now due on April 26th at 11.59 p.m. For more information, you can check out their Instagram or email them. What's up Novi? Culture Club is meeting on Friday, April 19th in room 182 to learn about the culture of Saudi Arabia to celebrate Arab American Heritage Month. All are welcome and snacks will be provided. Make sure to go check it out. Hey Novi, this is Luke, back again to tell you about the joint meeting that GSA and BSA are holding together this week. The meeting will be this week, Thursday, April 18th. Here they'll be discussing the complexities of music and identities, and exploring some of the ways that songs are connected to things like homophobia. Alright, well that's all I have for today, and as always, this is Luke signing off. Hey Wildcats! Prom is May 4th, and tickets are on sale April 15th through 19th during all lunches, cash or check only. Remember, if you're in any clubs such as HOSA or Robotics, that you turn in your forms and buy your tickets before you leave for your trips. Have a great day, Wildcats! Hello Wildcats, as you can see from this lower thirds title, my name is Neil. I'm here to remind you to buy tickets to this year's musical, Singing in the Rain. As you can see from my awesome editing skills, on my right is the poster for Singing in the Rain. You can scan the QR code on these posters seen all over the school. Performance dates and times are as follows. April 25th at 5 p.m. and April 26th and 27th at 7 p.m. All three performances will be in the Novi High School Auditorium, with Millen Thurman as Don Lockwood, Hannah Jong, as Kathy Selden, Ishan Thurman as Cosmo Brown, and Tria Tangatur as Lina Lamont. We're actually going to make it rain on stage, so be there to witness the amazing spectacle. Singing in the rain, ticket prices are as follows. $10 for seniors and children under 12. Student tickets are $12 and general admission is $15. Go to novihs.seatyourself.biz or scan the QR codes on this poster to purchase tickets. Come watch Singing in the Rain. Goodbye. Singing in the rain. Hey Wildcats, scan this QR code to register to vote and to update your registration address. To use this website, you need a valid Michigan State driver's license or state ID. If you don't have one, you can find out how to register on the website. Have a great day, Wildcats. What's up, Novi? Today we are doing a candy tier list. Now, up first, we got three musketeers. Very underrated. It's a classic. It's very simplistic, and I really like it. It gets a B for me. Three musketeers is by far the best candy bar. It just totally outdoes all the other ones and is extremely underrated. I'm going to give it an S. Not a lot of people talk about the three musketeers, but it's got to be top two for me. It's very tasty. You know, it's great. All right, next up, we got is Airheads, and this one's kind of controversial. It's solid, so B. Airheads has been a classic candy for a long time. It's okay. It, but it's not the worst. I'll give it a C. So Airheads, it's not the first thing I'm grabbing, but I'll eat it. I'd give it a B. Next we have Almond Joy. Almond Joys are actually overhated. I would give them an A. Now, I really do like Almond Joys. I don't know what they were thinking with mounds, with taking out the almond. I really like Almond Joys. They're very satisfying, and I really enjoy them, so A. Not a fan of Almond Joys, guys. I'm sorry. I don't like when you taste in a candy bar, and it just suddenly, like, this big crunchy thing. I don't like that. Next we have Butterfingers. Honestly, they're not really buttery at all. It kind of tastes like a bunch of stale pieces. Butterfingers are really bad. D. I believe that Butterfingers are on the higher end spectrum, even though I don't like peanut butter, like, at all. For me, they get an A. Uh, again, Butterfingers are not the first thing I'm grabbing, but they are certainly not the last. They're pretty alright. B. I, so, no, my room! 
Oh god. <laughs> if you gave me a bird finger, I would not be offended. Like, if you see me in the hallways, like he had a bird finger, like I'll I'll low key eat it. Okay, Jaden, I'll take this back. Next up we have candy corn, and it is by far the worst candy ever invented. Before anyone even says it's good, it's not. I don't get the hype around it. F. I do not agree. Candy corn is just a very classic one for me. I ate this for probably my entire life. It's it's very bad for you. Horribly bad for you. I really like it, so for me, S. So once again, Ben is completely wrong. Um, candy corn is not bad. In fact, it's actually really good. Uh, it's a classic Halloween treat. You know, you love candy corn. Uh, but me personally, I can't eat too much. Listen, I eat, once you get past like five pieces for me, it's over. It doesn't taste good anymore. But those first five are great, so Ben's still wrong. Hey. If you gave me candy corn without telling me anything, I would probably not like you. If you had to choose any candy, why would you choose candy corn? Next up, we got a classic one. We have Crunch. I'm gonna give it an S. Yeah, a lot of other brands have tried to copy Crunch. I know um, Hershey copied them with Cracker, but this one is really good. It's very nice to eat, so for me, it gets an A. I'm a big fan of Crunch. I had a lot growing up. Would you stop it? So, I'm a big fan of Crunch. Um, I had a lot growing up. You know, it's it's just a really solid candy bar. I'll give them an S. I like Crunch and non-Crunch, but if you're being for real, Crunch is actually like pretty fire. Like, if you give me a bar of Crunch, I would be pretty happy. Next, we have like the classic gummy candy. We have Haribo. Haribo bed. Haribo. Next, we have gummy bears. It's not a candy that you would specifically pick out and eat all the time. They get a B. I can't eat these. They're so chewy. Like, when you go out on Halloween and like all the people give you Haribo, it's like freaking titanium. Let's see. I don't know what these two guys are talking about because they're just wrong. Once again, all right, they're great. S. I would definitely choose gummy bears over candy corn. N next up, we got Heath. Honestly, I'm not a fan of toffee at all. I just do not like it. So for me, it's an F. Okay, once again, Ben is indeed wrong. Heath is delicious. I love the toffee in it. The chocolate toffee mix is just great. S. As a kid, I always pronounced it healthy because I thought it was a health bar. It is not a health bar. This will not make you healthy, but they're very good. S. Hey guys, guess what happened to the frog that parked illegally? It got towed. <laughs> no, I don't think they like it. Stay tuned for more corny dad jokes. Goodbye.